So as a trader, the more capital you have, the more money you can make while skipping your risk the exact same. So this means that you are able to make more money just by increasing your capital and still risking 1% or 0.5% every single trade. So that's why today we're going to talk about exactly what anyone with a small account should do to be able to actually make a lot of money. So it all starts with understanding that as a trader, you have to trade with good risk management. Otherwise, you're not going to survive in this game. And to do that, you need to risk between 0.5% or 1% per trade idea you have to do this every single time i don't recommend doing more than one percent in some cases you can but generally don't do it so now understand that one percent of 1k is 10 and you have one percent of 100k now that becomes a thousand so there's a huge difference now just keep this value in mind because it's going to come in handy later on when i initially started i first invested 500 dollars into a live account and this was what i started to use to trade my whole idea was i was going to risk maybe 10 to 20 percent per trade just so I'm making a decent amount of money because of a $500 account, 1% is literally only $5 and that is absolutely rubbish, right? So I didn't really want to do that. So I was risking a lot more. But if you're risking 20% of your account, then it means that all you have to do is lose five trades in a row and that account is completely gone. So you can see how crazy that is. But if you're risking just 1%, then technically you need to make 100 trades and lose 100 trades in a row to actually blow that entire account. So, so you can see how using good risk management with a $1,000 account or $500 account isn't exactly ideal. So what do you do in this case to actually start Still make money that you are happy with now this is where prop firms come in now prop firms are basically companies that provide you with accounts that you're able to trade with and they're able to provide you with all kind of accounts from 5k accounts to literally 300k 400k accounts to actually trade with now these accounts are actually accounts that exist they will actually pay you the amount that you need to get for people who are probably wondering how is this the case they have ways that they do make money and generally they make money by most people losing because most people fail the challenges which they require you to pass to actually make money but most people do fail those challenges so that is how they make money as well as taking about 10 percent of how much you make every single month they will give you 90 percent or sometimes 80 percent and they will keep the rest now for those who actually already trade and we are aware of what happened to my forex funds my forex funds currently are in a bit of a pickle the you know the whole business has been shut down for a while until things are analyzed now this is a bit scary to most prop firms because now most of us as well as traders we are wondering is prop firms kind of the way because suddenly you can be someone who's relying on the capital that you have and all of a sudden this happens and now you have no money to work with so what do you do i personally think this is not something to worry about prop firms is still something that is extremely useful it's been a game changer for traders prop firms is still one that you should go for especially the ones that are still guaranteed to pay you in the sense that they've proven that they pay out several times so you can still trust them it's just that you need to understand a simple fact which is prop firms simply exist to give you money so you can take that money as soon as possible and start building your own account see it this way you have a 200k account with a prop firm and you're making just five percent every single month now you're easily making 10k pretty much every single month out of that 10k now they they give you 9k and you put this money into another account that you're building up now building up you know 9k or 5k per month into your own personal account you can easily easily start reaching you know 20k 50k that is your own personal account where you can withdraw money as much as you want you can do whatever you want with that account now this is much easier than working a nine to five which most likely would not be paying you 9k per month that you can use to build up your own account so the game is completely different so this is what i just recommend most people you need to perfect this skill as soon as you can so that way you are building up your own account as soon as possible when they give you your money take that out as soon as possible start building up your own account just because we don't know how long prop firms are going to exist for so now this brings up the question of how exactly would i do it if i had to start again the first thing i would do is start with a 5k account the 5k account is the cheapest account that you can get this is available from you know most prop firms when you have the 5k account this gives you a peace of mind because if you do blow this account that you know you're only spending let's say 30 40 dollars every single time it's a lot cheaper you want to use the 5k account but you want to get this 5k account only when you've proven to yourself that you can be profitable don't just start a challenge when you haven't really seen consistency in your trading strategy or anything like that but when you start the 5k account if you can pass this 5k account then the next thing i would do is use the profits from this 5k account to now get my next account which could be a 10k or 20k so now moving forward you're technically only doing this for free you're using the profits from one prop firm account to get your other accounts and you continue to stack this and do this over and over again now from the 5k now you have a 20k now overall you have a 
25k account now making one percent on that is a lot different because now you're making 250 dollars maybe per day now that's extremely now that's already a huge difference most people aren't even making 250 dollars per day from putting in like an eight hour shift so already you're making a decent amount of, amount of money now once you can pass that 20k account then i'll say you move on to the 50k account now once you've done this now you're building up your account and you're close to that 100k after that then i'll say you get a 100k account then you can start getting 200 accounts moving forward you don't need to get the small accounts anymore then eventually the, the aim is to build your accounts enough to where you touch seven figures once you've hit seven figures now now you're a big boy trader now i can say that you're sort of comfortable so now making one percent alone on like a mil account is giving you 10k now this is how you you see traders making 10k days making 20k weeks 30k weeks it's that's that's when you've hit a whole different level so to actually trade these different accounts you need to use something known as a trade copy or a trade copy allows you to link all your accounts so you trade on one account and that trade is replicated on your other accounts you can set different risk on the other accounts wherever you want to do it but the idea is once you start from that 5k account you never want to lose it so what i would do is have that 5k account and i would set my risk to like having a 0 0.5 risk per trade means that to even lose you know most challenges which may, maybe they'll tell you you need to lose about 10 percent overall to lose 10 percent means that you need to lose 20 trades in a row to lose their account that is almost impossible like you have to be a horrible trader to lose 20 percent in a row that's crazy so anyone with a small amount of money or small account whether that's 500 dollars or 1k or even 100 dollars i would just say withdraw that money out from that broker and actually use it to buy some sort of profit account it's just 10 times 100 times better there's no point working your way up slowly now just actually get a lot more money quickly because you're just using the same skill anyway why not put that skill towards something else that will make you a lot more money it's just it just makes sense it just is yeah so if you would like me to start a 5k challenge myself and actually document the entire process of how i'll pass the challenge and show you guys exactly how i would do this exact thing that i'm talking about going from 5k to 20 then 20 to 25 then be sure to let me know down in the comments below if you have found any value in this video then be sure to like the video as well and i'll see you guys in the next one peace